everyone this is the first part of my uh, homemade PCB tutorial in which I'm going to explain how to turn your circuit board designs into reality using dry film photoresist so many of you have probably tried the toner transfer method and you've probably encountered all the downfalls of it like uh, smudges, toner smudges, broken tracks, incomplete transfers so we'll try to fix that with a new way of making circuit boards so first thing first we need to uh, save this layout or whatever layout you have we need to save it to a PDF file so we'll just go here, print, we'll select print to PDF file, we'll rename that. For example, this is a breakout top, this top layer of a breakout board. And here we go, we have a PDF file. Okay, step number two. So now that we got our uh, layout printed to a PDF file, we need to make this into a photo negative of this layout. So here we are going to use Inkscape Vector Graphics Editor. And it has the ability to work with PDF files pretty much directly. We go to File, Import, Okay, now we need to find our breakout. Here we go, breakout top. This is the layout that we just printed. And hit open. We can leave all the options default. And here we go. This is our circuit board. Okay, so we need to move it somewhere to a better spot, like right here. Okay. So, the next step is to add a layer to your vector image. Uh, hit layers and select, hit this button, create new layer plus. Uh, it doesn't matter how you name it, position below current and hit add. This will create an additional layer right below the one, the default layer number one. So what we need to do next is click on your layout so you can see it's selected. Go to extensions, color and select negative. And this will make a photo negative of your circuit board layout. Then select layer 2, the one below, and uh, you need to use the rectangle tool. Use black color for stroke and black color for fill and make a rectangle around your circuit board so you can see your entire design. You can adjust the size with the pointer tool. And that's it. It's pretty much ready. Here we go. So the last thing you can do is export this same design to a, another PDF file so you can use it later, which I'm going to do right now. Go to File, Save As, select PDF format, and we'll save it as... A, RPI breakout top. <clears throat> okay. And just in case, we'll save it as an SVG image. Okay, so here we have our RPI, uh, RPI breakout. And that's it. This is a photo negative of uh, your circuit board which we can use with uh, dry film photoresist. So next up is actually working with uh, your copper clad board and uh, photo developing and etching. See you next time.